Do you ever pass by a building and wonder just what stories it might hold? Well, that's one of the ideas behind the short film series Behind the Facade for the Knowledge Network. And our next guest found a heartbreaking story at the Gursik Temple in Abbotsford. Baljeet Sangra's film is Have You Forgotten Me? Baljeet, hello there. Hello. Hi, Gloria. Thanks so much for joining us. And what can you tell us about this series, Behind the Facade? Um, it's, a, it's a series of 10 shorts commissioned by Knowledge Network, produced by Lantern Films. And it's a story of like exactly what you said, you know, what are the story behind uh, community spaces? Um, and often when you look behind a space, you hear stories of resilience, community. And um, yeah, there's 10 diverse shorts in the series and I'm really proud to be one of them. Yeah, it's a great concept for sure. So what about your film? It's called Have You Forgotten Me? What can you tell us about that? Um, yeah, it's, it's a short, but it's about the oldest Sikh temple. Uh, it's still standing in North America called the Gur Sikh Temple. And uh, it, it got designated historical status um, sometime in the early 2000s, I think. I remember going out there when Jean Chrétien was here, Sheila Cobbs, the whole community came out in busloads and it got that designation. And that was actually the very first time I saw that temple. And I was kind of blown away with the frontier architecture. It just looked right out of a Western movie because there's actually a new uh, temple across the street. Anyway, so I went to that place. So when I got asked by uh, the producers of uh, the series, if I'd like to direct a short, I was thrilled. And I got to go there and dig into the archives, meet elders of the community, hear their stories. And one of those stories really stood out. And it was about a story of, um, of uh, a pioneer family that were separated for 20 years. And uh, the wife wrote letters to her husband and one of the lines that really stood out was have you forgotten me and my entire youth has been waiting for you so that really touched my heart and we did a story on that because it tells one story but it, in a way it tells everybody's story interesting yes but your your story about this particular family it doesn't end where your film ends does it what, what happens when, when their son comes to live in canada oh um so so uh, yeah, this story, uh, a pioneer came in the 1930, uh, Mr. Gill separated for his wife again, like for like 20 years. He goes back to India, brings his wife and new son to India and they assimilate. And, you know, uh, it's just sort of like a real pioneer story. The, the, he, Mr. Gill didn't, you know, had no education, but he worked really hard, started a business, brought his family. It's a story of resilience and community through one family. And um, yeah, so we got to show some of their archives and their story. And um, the, the elder who's since passed on, Mr. Gill, um, we hear his story through his son and daughter-in-law and the letters that were written between the parents. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's interesting to look back for sure. But um, what would you say this temple means for the community today? Well, um, it's like a touchstone that, you know, our story, our, uh, our, our story here in Canada, you know, as a settler community, you walk through the halls, you, you imagine all that took place in the community spaces, you know, right to vote, uh, the Komagata Maru, you know, organizing around that, all of that sort of stuff. So um, it's just about, yeah, resilience, our struggle, our community. Um, and I think sometimes you just don't really appreciate something when it's in your backyard. And when I went there and I looked at the guest book and I saw all these entries from around the world and they're all thanking, you know, the community for keeping this because it just, you know, we need to tell our story and pass it on to the next generation. And it's a rich history to share. Yeah, it sure is. And I mean, for you as the filmmaker then, Balji, what, what was the, the highlight for you throughout this process? Um, again, being able to meet some of the elders, there's a couple shots near the end of the film where we, we um, you know, we had them come and they, and we had uh, pictures of their archives blown up and they were showing us who they were. And these pictures are dated like 1920. And they're like, oh, that's me. And it's a little boy in the corner. It's just so heart, uh, just touched my heart. But also I have a personal connection. I'm, I'm a granddaughter of a pioneering family. So I imagined you know, my grandfather being in this place and I knew, you know, my grandfather knew some of these families. So it just really made me feel like uh, what my grandparents experience must have been when they came. So it was a personal story as well for me. It touched me and made me think of my own history. 
Well, nice to talk to you. Thanks so much for telling us about your film, Have You Forgotten Me? Bye-bye for now. Thank you.